in some ways, it's still the same race because, of course, we are still running against the Biden slash Harris failures of the last three and a half years. But in other ways, uh, the race has certainly changed some of the dynamics. For example, we have taken off the table the issue of Biden's incapacity. Um, Kamala Harris has plenty of problems, but we can't pretend that she has dementia, for example, right? So that's been taken off the table. But what's been added to the table, what's now part of the mix and, and should be part of the decision process for the American people? In the case of Kamala, I think it's really two things. Number one is that she is more radical than Joe Biden, which is saying something, but I think that's demonstrably true if you look at her policies and if you look at the actual data of how she voted as a senator, what she's advocated for as a presidential candidate herself and as vice president. So we have somebody who is more radical, uh, more out of touch with mainstream America, particularly in the battleground states. And then the second aspect is, and again, we can quantify this as well, we have somebody who's less likable. I and mean, one thing about Joe Biden, I, I think he's a miserable failure of a president, but he generally polled okay until very recently on likability surveys, on favorability, for example. 